everyone, and welcome to Kids Rock. I'm Pastor Laura, and I am thrilled to get to talk to you today. All right, question. What is your favorite pudding flavor? I personally love chocolate. But you know what? Pistachio sounds really good, too. Ooh, or butterscotch. Oh, yum. Well, there is a lot of pudding in today's episode with the Connect HQ team. So let's dive in with them as they learn to think, pray, and then follow. Whew. It's getting cold in here. Are you chilly? I'm fine, but I'll turn the thermostat up for you if you want. Nah, I'll just get my jacket. That's yours? Yeah, I've had it for years. It's like a glove. <laughs> Doesn't seem to fit. Oh, okay, man. I mean, I may have put on a few pounds or so. I, just... I don't want to talk about it. Mike, it's a little cold. Hey, what happened to my jacket? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Mike, and this is all about the time Connect HQ joined the latest food craze. Hey gang, we just got a postcard. Dear Connect HQ, everyone in my class at school follows around this kid named Jaden. Jaden is the coolest kid in our school, but he doesn't listen to the teacher and always does his own thing. Should I follow him too? Signed, Dakota. Hmm, knowing who to follow is an important decision to make. But how do we know if we're following the right leader? It's always best to stop and think, pray, then follow. Hmm. Well, first thing we need to do, guys, I is... actually think we made a skit vision video about this once. Let me check the archives and see if it's there. Okay, well then, the next thing we probably I'll need to... I'll see if I can find a Bible link to help Dakota. Uh, I'm... Well, um, if anybody needs me, I'll, me and my belly here, we'll be over here doing crunches. Hey, Elaine, I was wondering... Chef Elaine. Chef Elaine, do you know or have any idea what I should eat if I'm trying to lose weight? It doesn't look like to me you need to lose any weight. But it's always a good idea to eat a healthy diet, filled with vegetables, fruit, lean protein, and whole grains. That sounds complicated. Not at all. I can lead you through it. Let me grab some recipe cards from my locker. Oh, okay. You know... No! <laughs> Huh? You startled me. There's an easier way to lose weight. What? What? You, you know an easier way to lose weight? Yeah. The pudding diet. Pudding diet? You eat all the pudding you want, and you lose weight. That sounds easy. I got it all from this book right here. Putting Away the Pounds by John Paul Paul John. I follow everything that guy says. Oh, so is he like a fitness expert, nutritionist? Mm-hmm. These should help you get started. Oh, uh, no need anymore. I've got it covered, Elaine. Thanks. Chef Elaine. Hey, Dot. How's it going? Great. I found a terrific Bible link to help Dakota. You want to see it? Of course. This is the story. This book 
is alive. After King Solomon died, his son, Rehoboam, became king. Yay! I'm the king now! The people sent a leader to the new king to speak up for them. So, how's everything going? Not so good. Listen, we've worked hard for your father. He made us pay lots of taxes and forced us to work building his palaces. Please give us some rest and we'll be willing to serve you. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Give me three days to think it over, then come back. King Rehoboam decided to talk it over with the same men who gave his father, King Solomon, wise advice. So what should I do? How do you think I should answer the people? If you will be a servant to the people, have compassion, and work things out with them, they'll end up doing anything for you. Yes, Your Majesty. That would be the wise thing to do. Hey, I'm not sure you guys are right. After all, you guys are old. What do you guys think? Should I lighten up on the people? Now tell me what you really think. After all, we have grown up together. Uh, forget about what those old geezers told you. Yeah, the people are just being a bunch of whiners. Hey, I know what you should tell them. Tell them my little finger is thicker than my father's waist. If you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen the half of it. Yeah, and then you should say, my dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. That'll show them who's king. You guys are right. Those old guys don't even know what they're talking about. Three days later, Jeroboam and the people showed up to hear what King Rehoboam had to say. Hey, if you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen half of it. My dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. What do you think about that? Get lost, King Rehoboam. We've had it with you. Go ahead, go. Who do I care? Because King Rehoboam didn't listen to the wise advice of his leaders, the kingdom of Israel was split in half. Instead of ruling over all of Israel, as his father Solomon did, King Rehoboam only ruled over the towns of Judah. The rest of the tribes went with Jeroboam, and he ruled over them. Rehoboam had a choice of who he wanted to follow. Yeah, he should have followed his leaders that had experience and wisdom, but instead he followed the ones that just told him what he wanted to hear. He should have taken time to think, pray, then follow. It's hard for me to believe that someone acted so foolishly. What's with the pudding? Mm, I'm on a new pudding diet. It's great. Thankfully, I don't need to lose any weight. I don't think you do either, Mike. Well, the pudding diet isn't just about weight loss. According to John Paul Paul John, the pudding diet is about smooth skin, silky hair, strong bones, and just a general feeling of happiness and well-being. That sounds a little far-fetched. Want to try it? Oh, yeah, I'm in. So good. So good. Ooh, I'm almost empty. I hope she gets here soon. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, I brought your pudding. Where do you want it? Yeah, right there. Is a lot of pudding. Oh, are you giving out free dessert to the whole neighborhood? No, that's just for us. What? Yeah, we're on the pudding diet. Putting away the pounds, all pudding all the time. Oh no, no, no. I've never heard of this pudding diet, but it can't be good for you. Pudding is a nice treat, but eating only pudding is not healthy. What makes you such an expert? Yeah culinary training, following, and studying under the best cooks, dietitians, and nutritionists in the city. Is that all? You guys don't see any problem with eating a five gallon bucket of pudding. No? No. Wait, I do. I see a problem. We need bigger spoons. Uh, hey, Dot. What brings you to the foodie group room? I'm out of pudding. I was just checking to see if they had more. Hmm. What brings you down here? I'm looking for Rodney. Whenever he goes missing, there's usually food involved. 
I just finished editing our newest skit vision video and I wanted to show him. I want to see! What a great day for a hike. It is a beautiful day. I can't wait to see that waterfall. Oh, the waterfall. It's going to be breathtaking. And it will make this long hike worth it. <laughs> so worth it. So, so how, how much, much further to the waterfall? waterfall? What? Why are you asking me that? I'm following you to the waterfall. I'm following you to the waterfall. Well, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going either. <sighs> well, this is just great. The blind leading the blind. What? The blind leading the blind. There's a verse in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 14, about being careful who you follow. It goes like this. Matthew 15, 14. Matthew 15, 14. If a blind person leads another who is blind, If a blind person leads another who is blind, Both of them will fall into a pit. Both of them will fall into a pit. I guess you can't really follow someone who doesn't know the way either. If you follow someone who doesn't know God's way, you could both end up making bad decisions with really bad consequences. So what do we do now? Ah, let's follow that lady. She's got a map. That was great. It really is important that we don't follow anyone blindly. Exactly. If we're gonna follow someone, we need to make sure it's a leader that knows the way. God's way. I've been meaning to ask you, what is with all the pudding? I'm on the pudding diet now. Does it work? Hmm. Wanna try it? Absolutely. Uh, now that we have all of the links, we should send a transmission to Dakota. Almost there. You do it, Vanessa. I feel awful. You do it, Mike. I have got such a bad case of pudding sweats. And my stomach is trying to kill me. Rodney, you do it. I can't get up. I'll never be able to get up again. Why do we all feel so terrible? There must be some sort of bug going around. What does John Paul Paul John say about feeling sick and not being able to move? I didn't finish that chapter. I didn't have the strength to hold up the book anymore. Guys. We need more pudding to get our strengths up. Elaine! Elaine, we need more Elaine. pudding! Elaine! Elaine! Elaine, Elaine. 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 pudding! Elaine. 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 That's Chef Elaine. And eat a salad. Uh, no thanks. But I will take some butterscotch pudding if you have that. It's not on my diet. Mike, will you eat the salad? It's good for you. Oh, if you insist. No, not like that. Mm. It doesn't taste healthy. Please, Chef Elaine. Mm. We need pudding to get our strength up so we can send our transmission about how to follow wisely. (laughs) What is so funny? You guys, you're not following your own advice. You're all following this pudding diet, but not one of you took the time to consider if it was something worth following. She's right. You're right, we didn't stop once to think, pray, then follow. Maybe if you had, you would have realized that when it comes to food and nutrition, you know someone who knows what they're talking about. Me, Chef Oling. I think if we had talked to you first, we could have saved ourselves a lot of pain. What do you think, Rodney? What did he say? He says, if we had taken your advice, then we'd be able to hop up and finish the transmission. If you want good consequences, you have to follow good leaders. Uh, 
<laughs> You're right. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks, Chef Elaine. Hi, Dakota. We here at Connect HQ got your question about whether or not you should follow Jaden, the cool kid at school that doesn't listen to his teacher. We found a verse in the book of Matthew chapter 15 that we think will help. Say it with us like this. Matthew 15, 14. If a blind person leads another who is blind, both of them will fall into a pit. Just as the verse says, not all leaders are good leaders and we shouldn't follow just anyone. And not all leaders act in a godly way. If you follow a bad leader, it can lead to some horrible results. When the people complained to King Rehoboam about the hard working conditions, his wise godly advisors told him to show mercy to the people. But King Rehoboam followed his friends who told the king to be cruel to the people. As a result, the entire kingdom of Israel was torn in two. Today at Connect HQ, we learned how important it is to follow wisely. Rodney got some advice from a book that wasn't very good. Before we knew it, everyone at HQ was eating nothing but pudding because we didn't stop and think. Following that bad advice ended up making us all sick. We should have been following Chef Elaine. When it comes to food, she's the expert. She's a wise leader letting us know the right way to eat healthy and feel good. You shouldn't blindly follow everyone who says, I'm a leader. When you're unsure of what the next course of action should be, take a step back, think, pray, then follow. God wants us to follow godly leaders because godly leaders lead us to live like God. Think, would God want you to follow someone who doesn't listen to their teacher? Then pray and ask God to show you in your head and in your heart what you should do. Then choose to follow or not follow. I hope this helps. And if you ever need help, just drop us a line because remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. All right, let's do that Bible verse together. So everybody stand up and put your hands out, let's go. Matthew 15, 14. If a blind person leads another blind person, both of them will fall into a pit. Hey, that gives me an idea for an activity. All right, go around your house and find two things that can be used as blindfolds. And then you and another person watching this video or an unsuspecting family member need to do this activity together. For blindfolds, you could use a bandana or a dish towel or an old tie or something. And then one of you is going to be the leader and the other person will be the follower. You're going to tie those blindfolds around your eyes, both of you. And then the leader has to lead the follower without bumping into anything or anyone. All right? And the follower has to follow the leader without bumping into anything or anyone either. If you do bump into something, then you switch and the person who was the follower becomes the leader and the person who was the leader becomes the follower. Got it? All right, so get those blindfolds on and go for it. Pause the video and when you're done with that, you can come back here and watch me try to lead myself with a blindfold on around the Kids Rock studio. All right. I'll see you in a few. Okay, it's go time. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Oh, gosh, that's a wall. All right, returning. Oh, there's a table and a lamp. All right, good thing I didn't knock that over. And, oh, <laughs> oh, there's. I knocked something over on the floor. Okay. Oh gosh, there's another lamp. And we're gonna make it back to the table. I can't remember if there's anything between me and the table. <laughs> oh, there's the wall. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. My music stand. Oh, I made it back. Guys, that was tough stuff. Whew. Wow. That was tough, and I wasn't even trying to lead someone or follow someone who also couldn't see where they were going. 
You know, there have been times in my life where I haven't stopped to think, pray, and then follow. When I was in middle school, there was this group of girls that I really wanted to get in with and hang out with. Uh, but they were making fun of another couple of girls. And instead of doing the right thing and standing up for the other girls or deciding not to make fun of them, I just followed the cool girl's lead and started making fun of these other girls. I did not choose to follow well in that time. Following people who weren't following God's ways and setting a godly example led me to hurt others and to hurt myself. I never made fun of those girls to their faces, which might be worse or at least just as bad, but behind their backs, I was mean to them. I hurt them and I hurt myself because when I think of that, even now, 24 years later, it hurts my heart to think that I did that. So guys, remember this week to think, pray, and then follow. Following godly leaders makes a huge difference in our lives. It's so important. So right now, talk with the people in your room watching with you about some godly examples and leaders that you can trust and how you can follow well. And I will see you again real soon. Bye.